Hey there, it's me, Nation. I haven't seen you in a while. It's been seven years since I last uploaded something, but I finally finished university. So I thought I'd give this YouTube thing a shot now, now that I have time again. So yeah, just a little hobby thing, see where it goes. Yeah. I think the last thing I uploaded was a Crusader Kings 2 video. Wow. Now we're on a Crusader Kings 3 in Hearts of Iron 4 with the shiny mod, Kaiser Reich. Yeah. Lots, lots to do. So, if you're an old viewer and you've come back, welcome back. It's nice to see you again. And if you're someone new, well, why would you want to watch me? Well, let me tell you something that uh, one of my old viewers once told me. Basically, they said, uh, you know, I'm not a good player. I'm an average player. You got all these other people, esports level champions and stuff like that. You see them play Hearts of Iron 4. They're basically guaranteed to win, right? Like it's they're gonna they're gonna do great things in the game. Meanwhile, there was me, and you know, sometimes I I do pretty me mediocre sometimes, uh, but I generally survive. Sometimes I wouldn't. Um. There was a chance that I just straight up lose, and so that's why they like to watch me. There, you never know what you're gonna see in one of my playthroughs. Is it gonna be amazing? Is it gonna be terrible? Well, we'll see. Maybe I'll die right away, uh, right as the civil war kicks off. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna give this a shot. Of course, we're playing as America. And we'll be trying to do a Syndicate States of America uh, playthrough. Um, and if we win the Civil War, we'll probably go Totalist. Maybe Syndicalist. We'll see where the wind blows. Yeah. It's straight into it. Uh, America's not doing so well. The Garner-Wagner bill, basically, kind of like a New Deal kind of thing. Uh, it's not going to go good. I'm going to make sure... <laughs> Uh, that the syndicalists, the syndicalists come to power. Ooh, Kornilov storms Moscow. So, I think if he's in power, that might mean that they essentially... There's a chance they could get the fascist government, I think. Uh, a firm hand. Yeah, Boris Savnikov, if he comes into power. Uh, it just depends on what the AI chooses now. But we're more concerned over here in America. We'll see how that goes. Yep, yep, Canada. I'm there. Slightly more powerful now. Uh, but it's not, you know, vanilla. Uh, got some fleeing British aristocrats to help them out. A compromise with the SPA. We want the SPA to be as powerful as possible. And we're just going to uh, sabotage... <laughs> Uh, everyone else! Oh dear, Jesus. Uh, we're not going to click that yet until it's too late. Alright, we're getting a bunch of power. No coalition. Black market. Electoral gridlock. Alright, and we're going to wait for as long as possible. That we want our forts to build. Tip typically, you know, the lines between the federal government uh, and the syndicalists, they'll kind of form along this river. And then down here, it'll be with the, uh, what is it, America First move, I think? Yeah, America First. AF, AFD, AFP, something like that. Meanwhile, everywhere else is just falling apart. Navy doesn't really matter too much with the Civil War, so we're just going to focus on submarines and not even assign them to a Navy, just kind of have them drop. Oh, okay, now Black one hit us. Okay. At the bill is shot down, we want it all to fail. Burn down, yep, there we go. Lots of support for both President, well, uh, Candidate Long and Candidate Reed. So, something I never knew is that if we go with reconciliation, or if we pass this, I think if we pass this, it strengthens Democrats and Republicans, so I think we should go, probably, reconciliation, so... We'll go with demand war payments, or war debts. What's going on out there in the world? 
Uh, nothing happened in Russia yet. But China is having a hard time. Oh, here we go. Ah, democracy in Australasia. Over there. Gives us more popularity. Yep. Evolving over there. Cuba! Will I be nice to them? What kind of government do they have? Social Democrats. You know what? I'll restrict the trade. I'll give them that. Be nice to them. Military seizes power. Oh, okay. Ooh. I think it's still syndicalist, though. Yeah, it's like a military junta, but, you know, like a syndicalist kind of one. Uh, and I believe... Welsh poet and leader of the autonomous. So, oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, that's interesting. I think the Union of Britain is going to be extremely weak. Um, I think when it kind of devolves, I think it's home rule. Yeah, the evolution splits into three parts, and it generally comes out. Uh, from what I've seen, it's not as strong as it could be in either the totalist or the simplest route. Could have the weak Union of Britain. Could make. Uh, could help Canada take back the British Isles. I'll have to wait and see. Ooh, socialist folk. Okay. Recent radicalization. Great for me. Hmm. But I think with that route, they could have like a. Uh, of a kingdom of Rome kind of scenario. They might go down. Okay, we demanded the payments. They said no. Go with war fine white. Canada refuses. Defense. Toronto wins. Damn. Doesn't really matter. I think we get like five political points. Political power. That's if that happens. If they win. Oh. Uh, uh, yep. And America first is going to loot. Hmm. I think we have to go with the compromise. I'm trying to think of the one that... Hmm, what screws them over the most. Maybe we should go with passing the tariff back. Whichever one kind of screws over Canada the most we, we want. Yep. Want the SPA. Have as much power as possible. Sorry, Panama. Don't worry, you'll get the Panama eventually. Okay, yep. Right. Going on to the production. Or plan white. Yeah. You can AFP in the federal government as much as possible. Uh, and just focus on production. Because manpower won't really be a problem. It's it's typically just like infantry equipment that uh, you have a lot of trouble with. So we gotta focus on that. They go with over in China. What's going on? All right, that's typically a, a normal. Oh yeah, this is all pretty normal so far. Left Kuomintang usually loses though. It's usually Han King that comes out on top. It would be pretty interesting to see the Kuomintang win. Have some socialists in um, China, because I very very rarely see them win. And even when I play them, like super hard. But on King is different war, so maybe they'll lose. Last time I played the Kuomintang was way back, like one of the early versions of Kaiserreich, so maybe they've made it easy. And, uh, Sternberg. Oh no, he wins. Okay, excellent. Yeah, so we have the Mad Baron staying in Mongolia. That's always good fun, having those crazy, absolutely insane uh, cavalry units coming out of Mongolia. 
crazy amount of damage. Yeah. Can this year get any worse? Uh, always can if the last few years have taught us anything. It can always get worse. <laughs> All right, so yeah, got the win. We have our forts down for July. Just a little bit of political power. Do we want any more forts anywhere? Not really. Oh, I almost never see that. Okay, there's a lot of interesting stuff happening. In this. This run. Poland almost never. They never see the military government. The events, Kaiser. So much jam packed with stuff. And then after that, after that route is done on the focuses, I guess we'll have to go down there to the army reform debate, I'm guessing. Yeah. Uh, oh, maybe not. I think it has to be Air Force. Then. No? Is it? U.S. Navy? One or the other. Focuses. Oh, it's so nice to have them. I still remember Parts of Iron 4 just with its decisions. I like the decisions. The decisions in Parts of Iron 3 compared to... Next round four, it's just kind of sad. It was much more interesting, much more like Victoria. I kind of missed that, but it's nice to have the focus. Yep. Door order in Tennessee. Want the SFP. Strong as hell. Continue to focus on... Yep. We'll get that radio done. Violence in the political theater. Germany's going to lose its colonies over Asia. They never hold on. Oh, that's it. If I remember correctly, don't they usually... I think they usually revolt in the north. Or is it the south? I'm not sure. But either way, they're going to lose. Because they, man, they just... They manage it just so poor. Or they usually leave units over here. And, uh, Borneo. Team 4 is on the land. Oh, they're not. And then even when, if Germany can get in there in time, it doesn't end well. Usually don't get there in time. Oh, Germany, you're independent. Will you join the Reich's back to it? Probably be in here. Uh... Ooh. All right. So uh, neutral Belgium up. Could be interesting. Hmm. Germany usually gets its. Box rock, but almost I've never really seen it do unless like a player plays it. I'm sure you'll do well, Jeremy, this time, right? You'll give us a good, uh, good showing the new Velt Creed. Friendly Serbia, relatively friendly Serbia. Bulgaria get destroyed either. No, no, Serbia, are you gonna join? Okay, never mind. I spoke too soon. Still gonna get uh, obliterated. Another thing that you never you never really see them Bulgaria win. Use everything. So the US Army, it's not doing well. Stop with them all. How's it going? Military factories finishing in Michigan. That's all you. If you know you're gonna be syndicalists in America, then you just gotta like build up in Michigan because you know you'll get that for certain. Uh, obviously we're gonna be Jack Reed. Obviously.
have him win. Here we go. If he can test the results, of course they do. I think there might be a route where like you keep the peace somehow. Yeah, sure, you can have it. Another Spanish Civil War. With uh what is the name? Huey Long? I think there's a way. I recall like they get together and talk. Although I think it might just always end in this. More submarines. Never have enough. Don't want to recruit any units. Because it's all it's going to do is help the federal government. Uh, can't do anything over there yet, so I think we just sit now. I don't think. Yep. There's nothing we can do for now. Starting to focus on military stuff. I think you get some tanks as the syndicalists. You definitely get motorized division, absolutely. Come on. Get this show on the road. Let's have this explode. See this. No fascist government. Well, the syndicalists are in fact these. No matter what. How it usually goes. Oh, and now it's uh, time for Bulgaria to immediately get just rocked. Oh boy. They, they never do. Hold up. Ah, here we go. Now I can do stuff. Now I can do interesting stuff. Act quickly. So, if I recall correctly, one of these two. I think I think this just strengthens uh, syndicalists in general, while the other one will just straight up weaken the AFP and their states that they have control over. Uh, how are we... I think we want to, like, guarantee our control in some of these places. So we will enact sweeping reforms, increase our popularity. Yeah, there we go. And also, we're going to be an asshole, and uh, <laughs> we're going to scorch Earth a ton of this stuff. It hurts the political power, but I think... Just to hurt the AFP a little more... Because we won't be down there for a while. So it's good to just let them... Let them sit there in their... Uh... <laughs> like, that's such a ridiculous image to see. Like, you... Like... So it's the federal government now, which is led by someone who is definitely a syndicalist. And he's basically ordering, Oh, yes, all the infrastructure. We're going to scuttle everything there. But then, I think that should be, like, disallowed. Because you see in, like, the flavor text, it's like... Yeah, when the syndicate, the federal police come down, uh, the AFP just does not allow that shit to go on. Yeah, look. Declaring me a tyrant. Declaring Reed a tyrant. Like, that should definitely be something they look into. Oh well, gonna weaken them as much as I can. <laughs> Exploit it as much as possible. Arkansas. Gonna weaken their front line. That's gonna go to the federal government. That's gonna go to the AFP. Yeah, we'll leave that. That'll probably go to the federal government. We'll have to see. Uh, don't really need Reese. We'll, we'll go ahead. Okay. And we can't do anything for now. Shit's coming our way. 
The war is coming. Nothing we can do. Get it. <laughs> like putting forts up there because uh, sometimes they sneak in. Oh, look at that! All right, awesome. We're gonna have a fascist Russia. Rise of the leader, the Vosd. That'll lead to uh, interesting events down there. Bulgaria's holding out still, not for much longer. Very aggressive Russia will get. Arthur's in charge. There we go. Oof, I almost clicked that. No, we're going to play. Obviously, it's... Alright, now, we're in the shit. Stuff's going to go down very, very I do not want civilian factories. I only want military factories. Only thing we're going to produce is just a ton, an absolute ton of submarines. And we're going to invest in a little bit of everything. And motorized as well. And then everything else will go into the infantry equipment. There we go. Which one's going to give us the most? Nine militia units? Eight militia units? I think... Okay, nine. Fifteen. So fifteen over in Illinois is the highest so far. So we're going to recruit them up in there. Now we're missing bigger production. Give them one of everything. No Nick Bombers, though. Peaceful right now, nor... The flying fortresses. Okay. These suckers, I want them to focus in on Washington. Although we'll have the mobile units, motorized units, and the cabs. They'll try and get into New England, but see how that goes. That is just easier. Presidential go. <laughs> What this unit will be. And we'll have it as Ooh, Red Guard Command. I like that. Okay. Yep, spend the water. I think we have to recruit. Still recruiting militias? Yes, okay. The... I don't think we have any equipment. Yeah, so we can't really recruit new divisions. It's gonna have to wait. God. Oh, God. Did they... No? The difference here. I think they made, like, one different... Yeah, they did. That's... Okay, yeah, yeah, so the war's about to begin. Okay, yep. Come on, give me those militia units. We'll probably station them. Station them kind of in this, uh, along the port line here. Don't want to lose any of them. Big, big fleet now. I'm just going to merge them all. Okay. Good. Want them to get hurt as much as possible. Their infrastructure is fucked. Very good. They're from this side. Alright. Come on, there we go. Alright, there's our militias, and I think the second highest one was 13. They're all high. All right, fellas. Got the Illinois Guard. Distinguish them. And they'll be in like really mount. Do you have any mountaineers? So. So we're gonna give you. Hmm. Yeah, terrain penalty reduction. You will be fighting in the mountains. 
Well. Horribly weakened. The war is very cool. And are they fucking trading? <laughs> I think they're trading. Yeah, they are. Okay. All right then. Train. This part is. No military. But is building military factories? No, okay, it does do something. On the Entente. Yeah, I wonder if building military factories in Michigan, if it just does nothing. Because, well, I guess there wasn't really a lot to be. Yeah, we only have five, though. Three here. Okay, I guess it's just we mostly got civilian factories. Maybe they converted or something. But Belgium, out in the Entente. Now that's interesting. Where are my names? The Entente is on the continent. Now that that is... I throw a spanner into the work, so I don't think the Commune of France will want to invade into Belgium. Could be... I mean, the Entente declares war on the Syndicalists anyway, regardless. It's just like, they have a foothold on the continent. Oh my god, okay, there we go. I guess it just gets, like, converted. Okay, yeah, you just get, like, a bunch of military factories. Alright. Not uh, what we want. Put a few more fighters. We want quite a few motorized divisions. There are three, two, give five actually. Give us some more bombers. And then the last one we'll put in the infantry equipment again. Alright. Go forth. Yeah. Want to delay them. Engage them, make sure they're good and delayed for as long as humanly possible. Gotta do this manually, because AI is pretty bad at it. Alright, I'm gonna head straight down this peninsula here. Try and sneak into Washington. Ah, oh, yes. And they have taken New England. That's kind of to be, kind of to be expected. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes the Syndicalists are able to take it. But man, they were right on the money that time. They just instantly took it. Looks pretty good. Lots of volunteers. Oh, we're going to be able to snag the capital. Awesome. All right. Yeah, we'll allow it. We're not going to do it. Damn, took it right away. And we've encircled some other troops. We're actually going to encircle a lot of them. Like, yep. Okay, excellent. Great start. Try and circle them as much as can. And we have our new uh, militia units in place. Let's see. Okay. 11 militia units is the next highest. Nope, New York City is the highest. We'll go with uh, And then we're just going to evenly divide the. Um, or maybe we'll put them over. Yeah, you know what? I think we're just going to evenly divide. Ohio. There we go. Spread it, and they can go a bit. Are we excellent? Oh, okay. We're in the Great Lakes, apparently. Uh, are we into this episode? We're about 30 minutes in. Okay, so this is a good place to end, I think. We've finally started the Civil War, and we're in a really good position. 
Uh, the federal government is quite badly weakened, and so is the Union State as well. Um, so we'll probably be... We're probably going to do great, actually. Uh, we'll see sometimes when the Pacific States and the American Union gang up on the syndicalists, it can all come falling down. At that point, you just have to wait. You have to hold out for as long as you can until they start fighting each other again, so... We'll see... We'll see how that goes down. Thank you again for watching, and... If you're a new time viewer, hopefully you'll stick around and watch some watch some games with us, play some games with us, and uh, yeah, we'll see what new series are ahead in the future. And if you're an old viewer, thanks again for stopping by. It's nice to see you all. All right, see you.